Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So to continue working on improvements to the living room, as you can see, I've sanded the floor and waxed it, but there's this nasty bit of concrete in front of the hearth that needs covering up. I got some of these mock Victorian tiles that come in panels of eight tiles, so I'm planning to put six of these down to cover it up. The badgers are very happy on the new mantle I put up, but the eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed there's no scaffold board bookcase in that alcove, so these videos might have been a little out of order. I actually spent a ridiculous amount of time swapping these tiles around in different orientations until I got a pattern I liked. When I was finally happy with it, I could measure how big the backing board would need to be, and I added on a little border of grout all the way around. I'm cutting down some 18mm birch ply that I had left over for this, so it's nice and strong and flat. With it ripped down, I could then cross cut it on the mitre saw. The board is far too wide for my saw, so I made the first cut, flipped the board over, put the blade in the kerf of the first cut, and then continued the cut. The track saw would have done a neater job, but I wasn't going to get it out just to make one cut. I want this base to have a border or a frame going round it, so I've got some 3x2s that I'm going to cut down with 45 degree mitres on the end. I start with doing the front longest face, so cut it down with a mitre at each end. Then I can cut some 45s for the end pieces, offer them up and then just mark where it needs to trimming to and cut that back on the mitre saw. When I'm happy with the fit of all the joints, I get some PVA wood glue on and get it all glued together. I didn't want to screw it together as I didn't want any visible screw holes and this material is just too thick for my brad nailer. So I'm just going to glue everything together and get it clamped up. This should be plenty strong enough, it's just knowing what fixings to use for what applications. Once this is in place, it should never move again, so it's not going to get much stress on the joints. I left it overnight and then I could give everything a sand down. I'm applying some Treetex hard wax oil finish to it. This is the same colour I did my coffee table and the mantle so everything will tie in nicely together. I left the finish overnight to dry and then I could take this back over to the living room. I didn't want to put the tiles on in the workshop as I didn't want to have to carry it with the tiles on it. I thought it would be best to do it in situ. I spread out some tile adhesive with a nice comb spreader and then I could get the tiles put in place in the pattern I'd already laid out. I didn't have any tile spacers and I wasn't going to buy any just to lay six tiles. I just did it all by eye. And with such a simple six tile pattern it worked out absolutely fine. When the adhesive had cured, I could grout all the gaps and then give it all a polish off. Don't look at my collection of lamps and power tools in the corner of the living room. Yes, that is something that needs sorting out as well. And that's it all done. A nice simple project, hiding that nastiness in front of the fire. And if in the future anyone wants to lay a floor, this would just lift off out the way. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreons. And please subscribe for more videos.